stay well hydrated. You got your seatbelts buckled. It's four hours of Madden action. Kicking things off in Buffalo. Stevie J taking on Prodigy. So happy to have you guys along with us. It will be Prodigy starting off with the ball first. Mostert takes it out of the end zone. He will go out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Let's get to know these players a little better. Starting off with Prodigy. Michael Scott III, 22 years old from Fontana, California. And for somebody who has had some success here in the biggest money tournament of the year, Tyler Davis, he still has $52,700 in career earnings. Yeah, nice chunk of change right there. You'll see that trophy behind him from DreamHack last year. He won that tournament. He's very well respected in the community. Both these guys have a lot of respect for each other. Prodigy going to be very balanced. We'll see him get a stop on defense. Yeah, and taking a look at his player to watch, it is no doubt he's going to look to cook up some dots. And the player that's been the burner on most teams, Terry McLaurin. We saw that Terry McLaurin make so many plays last week. So Prodigy to open up that offense. He's got that deep in elite ability on him. Look for some deep uh, in routes, post routes over the middle to that Terry McLaurin. On the flip side, the defending Bills Club champion, Steven Javaruski, a.k.a. Stevie J, 24 years old from Orlando, California. As we mentioned, a two-time club champion, once with Buffalo, once with Tampa. TD, he has the experience edge in coming through in these club finals. Yeah, he does. And these guys actually matched up back in Madden 18 in a challenger event live in Las Vegas. Stevie actually got the better hand that night of Prodigy. So Prodigy looking for revenge. But yeah, Stevie, just one of the best players. He's very calculated, especially on defense. Looking at his mutt item to watch, TD. It starts with that threat detector, an ability a lot of players have, but maybe the, the casual fans at home don't know how effective it is on Kevin Mawai. Well, the one thing Stevie does struggle with, like we said, is that passing. So if he has this Kevin Mawai with threat detector, he'll be able to see when Prodigy is blitzing on third and fourth down situations, which can really help open up his offense. Let's get this bad boy underway. 20 minutes of game action. We will find out who will represent the Bills in January at the club championships. These gentlemen are ready to go. It will be Prodigy and Stevie J. TD, I, I've been looking forward to this game ever since we got the schedules. This has been the one that I feel like you could put as many polls on Twitter. It's going to come out 50-50. Yeah, I, I, this is the matchup I've been looking forward to as far as today's slate. I think this is the, the best matchup of the day. Both these guys are going to be in the same exact playbooks on offense and defense. We're going to see the Las Vegas Raiders offensive playbook as well as the 4-6 defensive playbook. You're going to see Prodigy. He's got Josh Allen with Gunslinger out there. He's got Reggie Bush, backfield master. And like I said, he's a balanced player. So you're going to see him come out in a little trips tight end, mix in that, those running backs for that personnel audibling, and he's going to audible down to some I-form, strong, close, things of that nature. TD, how important are these depth chart adjustments and audibles before the game? Yeah, so important. You want your best players in the right spots. You want your all your plays set up. So if you see a defense you like, you can audible to something that will beat it. First and 10, and a little handoff to Reggie Bush, and he gets tackled, I think, by his own player. I'm not sure a single defensive player touched him on that play. He'll lose a yard. Yeah, a little power O right there. And we saw since the patch, it's more power O than stretch now. And he goes to that power O first play. Stevie is really ready for it. Probably starting out in that trips tight end formation, it will be Josh Allen. You know, Bills fans are excited. I want to see the Bills uniforms, but their quarterback, Josh Allen, at the helm. On, He'll take on, off. Go. Takes a Let's big go. hand, falls out and picked up by Stevie J. We already have a turnover. Leroy Glover scoops up the butterfingers from Josh Allen. We talked about Stevie's defense, and on the second play of the game, you see it. A mental mistake right there by Prodigy. You got to go down. You can't take these hits to your quarterback, and Stevie takes complete control, and he's already in the red zone. Well, you want to talk about a way, TD, to get some confidence going early in this game. How about a turnover to start things off? Oh, however, let's not forget D Cross started off his game last week with an interception. He went on to win. Yeah, it's so early in the game, you never know, but that is huge for Stevie. This is the way he likes to play. He's going to play ball control. He's going to have a run-heavy offense, and he likes to rely on his defense. You're going to see him here in this Las Vegas Raiders, uh, Raiders playbook again. You're going to see him mix a lot of different formations up. You know, he labs with some of those EMB guys, probably one of the best crews in the game. You know, they're going to have him very prepared. His girlfriend, Lexi, at home, she's excited watching him. He wanted to shout her out. Um, great people. I've hung out with them a lot of times, so I'm excited to see what Stevie could cook up, because like we said, the one thing is he doesn't have the best offense, so he's going to be able to cook some dots up. Handoff up the middle, picks up two. Yeah, I saw uh, Lexi tweeting out that about 15 minutes before the game started, she was already nervous. <laughs> yeah, she's one of the best Madden girlfriends you'll find, especially on social media. She's always rooting for Stevie. You'll love to see that type of support. 
Second out and eight. Dante Culpepper, one of the three gunslingers in the game. Culpepper, Farm, and Allen, the most common you will see starting at quarterback. Culpepper at the helm for Stevie J, and he'll have, give it five to Lions five. legend Barry five Sanders five. up Broad Street. Down to the five, first and goal. You see Stevie in that strong tight formation. He's actually getting a receiver at the tight end uh, spot there. He's going to create some, he's obviously going to have better route running, more speed when he goes to some different routes. But you see him audible around here. That's what he's going to do in this Raiders playbook. Now first and goal. How about trying to get Sanders going? You know, you talk about how these guys know each other, TD. They used to be Noble Gaming brothers back in the Madden 18 Ultimate League. They were both wearing those yellow Noble Gaming uh, jerseys. <laughs> These guys were on the same team. Now they're going at each other in the Bills Club final. These guys are very familiar with each other. Like I said, they have a lot of respect for each other. We talked to them, and they both talk so highly of each other. These guys well-respected. Right here, it gets tough in the red zone now. This is where Stevie's got to cook something up. It gets, it gets difficult to score. That's going to be Sanders to the two-yard line. Do you like the call from Stevie J going with Barry Sanders over, say, a Reggie Bush? I think he's comfortable with Barry Sanders. He's been using him most of the year, so I think that's part of it. Big third and goal here. Only two yards. Expect him to go, expect him to go back to a power O or dive again. And that strong eye, he'll move McLaurin over to the left side. He'll give it to Sanders, who's fighting for that goal line. But great defense from Prodigy. Fourth and goal decision time for the defending champ. Yeah, I think he's, he's a conservative player, especially on offense. I think yeah, he's going to take five. his three. Great stand if you're Prodigy right there. That's what you need to do because giving up seven would have hurt. But if you're Stevie, it's okay. You got that first defensive stand, and you're able to take the lead, and you get ball at half. So um, it, both guys still in a great spot, but Stevie with that big turnover was huge for him. Kick is up. It is good. First points on the board here in the AFC East. It goes the defending Bills champion. Stevie J goes up three to nothing on Prodigy. You know, when you turn the ball over like that on your first drive, TD, when you're Prodigy, how do you view that? Is that a, I got unlucky? Is that a, I made the mistake and I need to be better? How do you view that sort of turnover? Yeah, it was just a mistake. You can't take those type of hits with your quarterback. You always got to slide down. I, you know, it's tough to say if it was just nerves. Second play of the game, you're trying to scramble. You just got to get down a little quicker. But plenty of time here. Only gave up three. It's going to go back to the trips tight end. Allen over the middle. Ooh, tight okay. window throw. Okay. But it is complete okay. for 13 yards and a first down. And how about the Bills connection once again? Josh Allen to Stephon Diggs. There's that gunslinger, you know, you can fire it in there so quickly. We see that row combo a lot, you know, tight end on that crossing route with a post motion over, hits it over the middle for a nice play. Allen left side underneath, and once again finding the former Maryland Terrapin, Stephon Diggs for nine. Goes back to the same route concept. Right there, he just went backside to that slant. Look for him to audible down here on a manageable second one. I would 100% expect a power O or a dive. Back to the left side, it's Reggie Bush taking the carry. And he will get four, and it seems like Prodigy unfazed off that early turnover. Yeah, and this is what you want to see. You know, he's really looked like he's settled the nerves. He's calmed down a little bit. His drive looks phenomenal so far. He's mixing up his play calling. Um, he's staying in this trip's tight end. He's very pass heavy to start this game, which I'm surprised with. And you see him it's walking with the crossing route. That's the tight end, Vernon nice. Davis. It's almost like he knew exactly where he was going the whole time. There's nothing Stevie J had on that side to stop it. Yeah, nothing over there. Nice tight end post route. That's why you get that Vernon Davis tight end apprentice. You're going to be able to put him on some crossing routes, some posts, corner routes. You see it so far. Every play that Prodigy's passed from, he's had that tight end on a nice route apprentice route. Diggs coming in motion from left to right. Allen will hand this ball off to Reggie Bush. And how about the shed on the outside to keep Bush from getting free? Oh, baby. Only picks up yards. Some good defense from Stevie J's front four. Stevie has one of the best defensive lines in the tournament as well. He has three double or nothing abilities. You can see them lit up with the stars underneath them at the D tackle positions and the D end on the right side. So he has a really nice defense put together. Prodigy going to go back to the trips. Except to see some motion again here. It's double or nothings. Give dominant pass rush wins. Does take double the uh, the pass rush points, but gives them dominant wins. So it's tough to have a lot of time in the pockets. We'll go to the second quarter. Three nothing still Stevie J. Jesus. Uh, this might be a free play. 
So he's gonna launch it. He might have a touchdown over the top. Come on, man. Diggs. He's in the end zone. It is a touchdown. What a laser beam Settle from in. Josh Touch Allen and Stephon Diggs. Come on. So oh, smart right there by Prodigy. He sees, play. he gets the free play, play takes home. advantage of it. He goes deep. He has a couple steps on him on that deep crossing route, and just a just a tough break right there for Stevie. He can't give that up, even though there was the penalty. And just super smart, intelligent, high Q Madden right there by Prodigy. Seven three. The score, Prodigy with the lead, a huge touchdown pass off the free play. Oh, Peyton Manning would be so proud. <laughs> he would. We expected this. Really, fireworks to start. You know, that big turnover. Prodigy showing how good he is, how talented he is. Fighting back, bouncing back after that turnover. And now it's back to Stevie staying in this strong eye formation. First play of the second quarter no. goes for six, and now Stevie J. For the first time, TD, we're going to have to see Stevie J go on an actual extended drive. Remember, his first offensive drive was a short field. Yeah, definitely, and that's the way Stevie likes to play. Like we said, you know, ball control. But now this is where, you know, we're going to have to see these, these dots cooked up. That's not Stevie's game. He likes to run the ball. If he can run the ball every single play, he will. We, saw, we talked to Prodigy. He said Stevie only passed the ball twice last year in his game. So he, he knows he wants to run the ball. So let's see what Stevie can cook up. Culpepper outside Ooh, of the pocket. Culpepper right, taking bro. another hit. Oh, that could have been slide. another fumble. Lucky to hold on yeah, to that I'm one. Sure. Third Culpepper. and nine for the defending champ. Living life on the edge. We saw Prodigy do the exact same thing earlier in Fumble. Stevie is very lucky right there. And now here we go, third and nine. This is definitely going to be a passing situation. Uh, you know, knowing Stevie, he might still run the ball here. Try to catch him off guard. Pick up about, you know, five yards if you can. But it really is a passing situation. We'll see if he stays in that strong tight. He will. Look for that Terry McLaurin at the tight end spot. Third and nine. Culpepper under center there's McLaurin in motion out of that tight end position and you look over the middle oh that was a laser beam to Vernon Davis I'm not sure how much of a window he had there TD but it was enough for a first down what a quick sequence of events right there because Prodigy brought the turbo rush up the middle. I think Stevie got a little nervous because of it. So he, because with the under center stuff, you got to be very careful versus that turbo rush. But he's able to get it off. He gets the rack egg animation to Vernon Davis for a big first down. That'll take some of the pressure off of Stevie J. So he gets his, gets a first down, gets to the 45 yard line. Toss play to the right. It's Barry Sanders trying to get around the outside. He avoids the first tackle. He'll end up getting eight on that play. TD, we're seeing more with the stretch and the outside zones being nerfed in the last patch. You're seeing more toss plays come into the offenses of these runners. Yeah, more power O's, tosses. I really love what Stevie's doing right there. So he recognized man-to-man -man defense right there. He motioned over to get his to get the defensive back to follow. So he had the numbers to the weak side there of the toss versus the man-to-man, -man, able to pick up nine. Stevie coming out in a different formation a lot now. I really like the way he's mixing up his play calling. Culpepper dropping back on second down. Mine. Ooh, oh, he's looking over the top. On. Oh, that was a dangerous right bracket coverage on the sidelines. That certainly he could have been that. going the other way. You heard Prodigy. He's throwing right at me. I got to pick that dangerous pass right there by Stevie. Uh, tried to go to the crossing route to the sideline, but Prodigy honestly was all over it. He can't make that type of read. Looked like he might have had something on the backside deeper there, but I, brought it, I probably would have just threw it away right there. But third and one, I would expect to see another run here. Uh, looks like he has the middle open if he wants it. Third and a yard. He's going to split Bush out of the backfield. I like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And you hear Stevie J. I actually, I love <laughs> seeing. That's, that's what separates the good from the great. Utilizing those first half timeouts, not forcing a play, especially on a key third and one. Mm -mm. And it didn't matter. Well, how about, how about he switch, switch plays to a two-yard loss? <laughs> and you see, like I said, that middle looks open, but Prodigy and his stick work was just amazing right there. He's able to swerve in from the outside, blow that up completely in the backfield. Now it goes from third and one to a fourth and three. Stevie J's going to have to go to the air. Fourth and three. 
And it's going to be Culpepper dropping back to pass. Four man rush. He's looking over Terry, the top. Let's He's go. got Terry Perry uh, to the house. Go Come him. On, touchdown, man. Terry. Come He's on, got the lay defending down. champ in the lead. Uh, a super dot by Stevie J, and he told us last night that Terry that McLaurin fast. is his difference maker. That and you fast. see it right there over the top. Super fast mm, and a big man, play on nothing. fourth down nothing, for Stevie baby. J. Stevie says that boy fast. I think I think most Washington football team fans would agree. Terry McLaurin's got wheels. Man, Terry McLaurin's a beast. Imagine if he had a quarterback, the numbers he would put up. He was already putting up numbers. Then he'd throw in a quarterback to go with that. But what a laser right Come there by on, Steve. Bro. I'm just saying, though, you want to talk about feel-good story of the NFL season. How about Alex Smith getting a chance to start once again in Washington? Oh, man, so cool to see. You know, those are the type of stories where God just has a plan for you. To come back from that just shows the hard work that Alex Smith has, has and the heart he has and the love for football to come back from that. Back on offense's project. He's got good blocking outside. Reggie Bush to the 40. Down near the 45-yard line. Nice run to start things off. 22 yards for the former USC Trojan. You know, Nick, I really thought this was going to be kind of a defensive slug it out battle, but we're seeing some big plays between these two. This is not the style that Stevie wants. He does not want to get into a shootout with anybody. So we'll see what Prodigy has now. Nice run on that power O on first down. First down to 10. Back to Bush. Back to the crowd game. And Reggie Bush gets absolutely leveled on the outside after a one-yard gain. Big hit stick right there. Looks like he had some space out there by Prodigy, though. Prodigy, I, I like what he's doing here. He's creating a lot of space on that power O. I, I'd like to see him go back to it, but he's going to stay in the trips, use some motion. Allen, left side. My bad. That's Picks my up bad. three, and so far, how? what's your concern level if you're Stevie J? Considering Prodigy's been able to move the ball at will. Yeah, you know, Stevie's leaving some things open. He's, he's trying to play a bend but don't break, but Prodigy's five for five. He's looked efficient, effective. He's mixing up his play calling. I really like the way both these guys are playing on offense. I have not been impressed with either of their defenses so far. Third down at two. Allen drops back two man rush from Stevie J. Looking left side. Another great route combo. Another find to the current Buffalo Bills. Stephon Diggs for a first down. Yeah, great play call right there by Prodigy. So he had two crossing routes. It really stresses the user, making Stevie J make a decision on one, and he throws the other one, so a nice little dot right there. And Prodigy just looking good right now on offense. If you're Stevie, I mean, he's 7 for 7, over 100 yards now. Stevie really looks like he's thinking about what he needs to do here, and Prodigy is looking effective. You see the X glowing underneath the Josh Allen. That means Omaha is activated, which makes things all the tougher to stop, TD. Allen. There we go. How does he not in trouble for the first oh, time. Yeah, Stevie Chase able to get Ooh. in the backfield. It is Thomas with the sack. Sets up a Word. third and long from the 37 yard line. I like when Stevie goes to that defense. We saw it a few plays ago when he only rushes two and he has a lot of coverage out there with that man to man. That's the thing. I think that's the defense that Stevie can have the most success with. It really forces Prodigy to really dial in, make a good read. It's difficult to beat. So I'd like to see Stevie, you know, go back to that. Instead of rushing four and leaving things open, I'd rather see him rush two and have pretty much everything covered and make Prodigy really dial in to make a read. Plus, by the way, that deactivates Omaha on Josh Allen, third and ten. Allen, quick throw to the flight. He's got a man open. That's uh... Mostert. Weird skill move, though, as he catches it. He's going to end up short of the line to gain fourth and one and a decision for Prodigy. Big decision here. You know, I like what he's doing, going to those flat ropes. You see him, that's the second time he's hit that for a nice play. Fourth and one here. I think he's going to take his field goal, put, take this clock down, and go in 10-10 at half. So, really, it's been a back and forth kind of even battle, which we thought, Nick, you know, these guys are so even. $50,000 both in career winnings. Both had success so far. So, I'm not surprised to see 10-10 at the half. You got it. You got it. Timeout taken, and Prodigy will attempt a 46-yard field goal to tie the game up. Kick is up, and it is good. 10-10, your score. TD, I want to say one of the more underrated effects the change from <clears throat> salary cap to full mutt has had. It's made field goals basically automatic because everyone's got focus kicker. Yeah, you know, you don't. it doesn't cost a lot of AP to get that on your kicker. The AP thing is the one thing I really do like that they put into mutt. It makes a little bit more strategy-wise. 
But yeah, I mean, some people might not agree with Prodigy's decision right there. You know, 30, 35 seconds to go. You only need a yard. You're not going to get ball at half. So I could see some people saying, oh, he should have went for that. Be more aggressive. But I think Prodigy does trust his defense. He's prepared for Stevie's offense. So looks like we're going to go 10, 10 and a half unless Stevie breaks one off. And off up the middle. He'll get a yard. Eh, let's run one more. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, $5,000 game, man. Eh, why not? Let's try another play. Yeah, so, might as well. You invested in that Barry oh, yeah. Sanders. Might as well give him one more look, see if he can break a big run. <laughs> a 74-yard run. Does he have one in him? Ooh. That's a good run. Ooh. That's a good Damn. run. Not quite that 74. will pick up 13. And that will take us to the half. TD, we said that it was a coin flip. Time. We said it was 50-50. We said it was about as even as it can get. About a 10-10 game at halftime. Yeah, excellent game so far. Both guys seem so prepared. They seem ready for this moment. Like I said, I'm surprised that it's not more defensive. We haven't seen a lot of stops. Uh, I know it's two field goals, but man, the, the, both guys' offense has been impressive. Well, we've played 10 minutes here in the Bills Club Championship. We are no closer to knowing who's going to come out with this one. It's turned into a 10-minute game. 10-10, your score at the half between Prodigy and it's the defending champ, Stevie J. The winner of this game will take home a pretty sweet custom club champion jersey from the Buffalo Bills. That's a great piece that you can wear around. You can hang up on your wall, frame it, whatever you want. Big shout out to the Bills for providing a custom jersey to our Bills club champion. Do you think the Bills will throw me a custom jersey for Bills club championship commentator? I think... <laughs> You would like one, wouldn't you? I would take one in a heartbeat. Definitely. Let's get this second half underway. I also like that Prodigy's got the Bills Cup next to that DreamHack plate. He could have dinner right there. He could use both of those. <laughs> so this is a big drive for both guys right here. Stevie getting that first turnover, getting those three points was huge because he does get the ball here. See what he goes. He's going to the I-form slot. Look for a stretch RPO. We haven't seen a lot of this from him so far in the first half. McLaurin and Diggs, the two wide receivers. It will be a run to Bush. And well defended from Prodigy. He'll pick up two on the play. Do you feel like that's a win when you give up two to stretch? Are you hoping to get a loss more than... Because uh, a Madden 20, only giving up a two-yard game would be huge. Yeah, I think you're fine with giving up the two right there. Second and eight. Stevie going to go back to the ground right here. Prodigy, we talked to him. He knows Stevie wants to run the ball, so he's very prepared. You see him with that user. He's trying to blow this up in the backfield. And up to Bush right up the middle. And he'll get six on that play. Brings up a third and two. I think that was a, a little stingy spot there from the Madden referees, but it's still third and short. A real chess match going on. You see Prodigy prepared for the run with that user. But Stevie, I think was Stevie's a very he's a lab rat, so I know he was labbing, looking for ways to beat that defense. You see that RPO dive having some success. Gonna go to the air here on third and two. Splits Bush out of the backfield. Only a three-man rush. Looking right That's side. Great oh. read from Stevie J finding Vernon Davis to the 43-yard line. It's a first down. At first look, that didn't really look that open, but he did get behind the purple. Uh, I believe probably said 20 yards, so if he had his cloud, his uh, purple zone set at 25, he might not get that in there, but Stevie able to get it by there for a big play. And off to Bush. Up the I'm starting to wonder, like you talk about theme teams here in Ultimate Team. See a lot of Bills, you see some 49ers. I'm wondering if uh, Stevie J has the Maryland Terrapin theme team going out there. He's got Stephon Diggs, he's got Vernon Davis. Stand up, Maryland. <laughs> it's all about speed though. You know, we're here playing competitive Madden. Since I've been playing Madden for almost 15 years now, it's all about speed every single year. You always want the fastest guys out there and that's what Stevie has. And I think he's found something here with this I-form slot formation. Back to the stretch, tries to cut it inside. Great defense. You see Prodigy using that Taylor Mays. Let's look at our previous champion the last three years, and it's been varied here in Buffalo. Stevie J looking to go back to back. Yeah, if Stevie could get a win here today, he could really set his dominance as this being his club. He already feels like it's his club. And then we talked to Prodigy. He said he felt the Xbox side was easy. That's why he chose Bills. He knew he might have to play Stevie in the finals, but he felt that Xbox side was very easy for him to qualify on. 
See Stevie J, that ball control, clock control offense just snaps it before. Oh my goodness. The play clock runs out. It's good defense open. down field. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Nick, oh. you hear him. Stevie took the words out of my mouth. He had the post route oh, naked, like wide open. If he just low balls that post, I love the route combo, though. He went with the wheel flat oh. combo to the backside, oh, wow. and then that post coming across. Uh, Looked like he had it. He just didn't pull the trigger. Dante Culpepper, under center in that strong eye. DK Metcalf in motion over to the left side. He'll take a delay a game. You see the talk. facial expression from Stevie J. Knowing that was a mistake, TD, we talked to Stevie <clears throat> J. And he said it's been an adjustment this year. First time having a full-time job and balancing Madden. Still been able to get to the Bills Club final. Great point right there, Nick. You know, he just graduated with his master's degree August 1st, starting his job as a school psychologist, school counselor. So he hasn't played as much, but he did say the last two weeks he's been really prepared. He's been really locked into this. Banjo, banjo, oh, off to cool, Bush cool. on third and 14. I can't, I can't and... risk getting out of field goal range. I know I'll play conservative, but oh my goodness. Man, you sometimes don't think a, a five-yard delay, a game penalty is that big, especially on a third and nine, already tough to convert. But he completely changed how Stevie J was going to attack that third down. Yeah, and Stevie being a very conservative player, he, he he runs the ball, takes his three. I don't hate the decision. He doesn't need to be – he doesn't need to question himself. He's been here before. So I want him to – I want to see his confidence up about the decision. You know, he that's not his game. He's not going to try to air it out on a third and long. Nothing to question yourself about. Just play defense. That's what got you to the dance. Running the ball and playing defense. So I like the strategy. Stick to what got you to this to this point. 13 to 10. It was a three minute and change drive for Stevie J. Ends up in a field goal. And now Prodigy gets his first drive of the second half. He Mostert in motion over to the right side. Josh Allen. Former Wyoming Cowboy in the shotgun. Screamer off the edge. Just gets rid of it and delivers a strike to Vernon done. Davis. That's okay. He gets that next time. Mm. Chess, chess match going on right now, Nick. You see Stevie bringing some heat off the edge. Prodigy steps Bro, to the side. Great out. pocket. He's got a free play. Scored a touchdown last time he had a free play. This time it's Reggie Bush <sighs> over the middle. It, pick up a first down. He keeps doing that, bro. Stevie really costing himself right now, Nick. Two free plays that Prodigy's taking advantage of. You can't make those type of mistakes in these big games. Not too often in the game of Madden do we say penalties, the difference in this game. But right now, Stevie J, a couple of key penalties in the second half. One in the first half, and now first and ten from midfield. Uh, that's me. Pick up eight. Mm. And you can hear the frustration level rising for Stevie J as he's making the perfect reads just after the play is over. Yeah, I just want to say, Nick, you know, Prodigy not necessarily known for his offense, and Stevie is known for his defense, one of the best defensive players, and Prodigy is 11 for 11 right now. He is dissecting this defense perfectly. I'm very impressed by Prodigy. That's my best. Oh, my God. I'm guarding the wrong shit. He dotting me. I mean, I think, I think every... Every team that gives up passes goes, we just guard the wrong one. We just, we got to guard the right one next time. See if he gets this playoff. He should be able to run the clock out, but he's going to snap the ball nonetheless. Screamer off the edge. He'll just throw this ball away, leaving one second on the clock. That's the first incompletion for Prodigy today. First incompletion. I like the dial up right there by Stevie to come off the edge. We saw him do that a few plays ago, and Prodigy was able to swipe to the side, but I like the play call. Well, what a throw underneath oh, to Reggie wow. Bush. First down. <sighs> down to the 15-yard oh, line. And put your fours up in the chat. A slim three-point lead for Stevie J. But it's Prodigy on the drive looking to become the new Bills Club champion. A lot of people are probably asking what that route was. It looked like he, the running back was just kind of sitting there behind the, the offensive line. But it was actually a delayed angle route out of the backfield. That play curl flat, very popular, especially if you have a route apprentice out there. I like the play call. Prodigy is in control now, man. But this is where it gets tough. In the red zone, he's going to go down to the ground game. Back into the eye form. Reggie Bush dotting the eye. 
it will be Bush. Right side. Boy, a play that looked like should only be about a yard or two. It ends up four. Seems like Bush fights hard for those extra yards here in Ultimate Team. He does. He's by far, in my opinion, the best running back. Just because you can put that backfield master on him as well. See if Prodigy goes back. Look for another angle route maybe out of the backfield here to that Reggie Bush. Two wide to the left side, one wide to the right side. Allen dropping back. Ah! And look over the middle of the field. Just I missed know he the wanted receiver. It. Also, I know just he wanted missed it. the defender. Big third and six. <laughs> what a bang bang play right there. Big third and six now for Prodigy. Because you don't want to have to kick field goals in, in this situation. You know, you look so good on offense, but the red zone is crucial. And first, what a throw a left first. side. Quick read to Ooh. Terry McLaurin. Oh, oh they're going to say it's short of the first down. They didn't give it to him. Cheat him like that. This That's is tough. it. Decision time for Prodigy. You need an inch. Fourth quarter. On the five yard line, I think you gotta go for this, Nick. You gotta be aggressive, Prodigy. You gotta go out there and take it. How did Terry McLaurin not get the first down? Looked like he caught the ball at the one. Skidded forward to the five, and they mark him short of the line again. Fourth and short, and Prodigy's gonna let him hang. Wow. Timeout taken by Stevie J. Now, you see the chin scratch from Prodigy. What does he do? Mm, you see, Stevie kind of got caught sleeping right there. Prodigy, you know, coming on that eye close, but going to go over the goal line. Looked like he was going to go for a fullback dive. I think we're going to see a fullback dive here, Nick. Looks like the offense is back out on the field. In that eye close. Bush at the top of the eye, Allen under center. Motion audible to goal line. Might have room for a QB sneak if he goes for it. Let's go! Over the fullback dive, and Stevie J Shout shoots out Tony. the gap! And Shout shuts out Tony. down Eddie George on the dive! The defending champ looking to hold his crowd! Timeout paid what off! What a defensive stand! The timeout paid off! What user skills! You hear Stevie right saying the timeout quick. paid off. Right Just blows quick. up the fullback dive in the backfield. Great stick work by the defending champ. One of the most common plays in short yardage situations. Mm. It was well scouted. Okay, okay, okay. By Stevie J, what a play on that fourth and short TD. It seems like, unlike earlier in Madden, earlier in this Madden 21 cycle, that fullback dive is much more of a dice roll. Yeah, and I think Stevie's been prepared for that. You heard him shout out Tony, his EMB brother. We saw Tony win the Chiefs club. They've been preparing for that fullback dive. No, everyone knows it's coming when you get into the red zone, and they're ready for it. But great stick work by Stevie. Oh, Lord he just Jesus. shot the gap. A hit stick in the backfield, I it doesn't get much him. prettier, it doesn't get much better than I that when it comes to him. defensive stick work. And here's Stevie J with the realization he's got to dot him, he's got to find a pass here on third and ten. Good run defense from Prodigy, and if Prodigy's able to get a stop here, he could get great field position. In that strong eye. It's going to be Culpepper. Reels a rush up the middle. Down goes Culpepper. Oh, safety. they're going to say he is just That's out of the end zone. Um, and Prodigy's looking over the referees going, can you give me a call just once? It really is a game of inches. He's in the end zone. That looks like it's going to be a safety. Oh, my goodness. It's so close. If you're Prodigy, that's no. almost a safety. But... But it's and Stevie just missed up his punt. He did not get power. He did not get power on it. And Prodigy's He's gonna get a field position. It's oh, Moster trying to get it's... sticky inside the 30, mm, down to the 29-yard line. The pendulum continues oh, to swing. Lord. Let's look at this one more time. Uh, that one is as close as it gets to a safety That's TD. A if we had instant replay, if you could throw the challenge flag, we might throw that because he looks like he's tackled in the end zone, but they call him down to one. But then another mistake by Stevie. You can't, he missed up, he messed up his power on the punt. So now Prodigy back in business. What a sequence of events. I'm losing my voice over here. That's just game one, TD. You got to save yourself. We got three more hours of action. Look at over the him. top for the I'd lead. Rather, rather Come on. to the house. Honestly. Prodigy, one play, one there, score. To be really honest with you. Business stop, is picking man. up. That's there. why you get that Moster 97 speed out there, out wide, one-on-one. -on -one. No one in the game can one guard him with that speed. Stop. He beats him over the top. Just a phenomenal right. sequence of events for Prodigy. He gets the punt. He gets great field position, and he takes advantage.
My, how quickly the game has changed. Stevie J was in such great Game's position loss, off the stop on fourth down. But a couple plays later, it's Prodigy to Raheem Mostert. Mostert burning primetime Deion Sanders Got over him. the top. Big play right there Come for Prodigy. On. He's fired up. Get a stop. And now Prodigy may be a stop away from his first club championship win here in a team final. Picks up eight on first down for Stevie J. And you see the urgency as he hurries back to the line. Second and two. Back to Barry Sanders. Ooh, up the middle to the midfield right there, logo. He would have taken that to the curb. Oh, game-saving tackle right there by Prodigy. Look, you see him shaking his head a little bit, but he's able to save it. Now, if you're Stevie, it's four-down territory. You used that timeout <laughs> earlier, which helped you because you're able to get that fourth-down stop. But now, with only two timeouts, there's no more there's no more punting or anything. You've got to go for it four downs here. Does he have a money drive in him two minutes to go? He needs 51 yards for glory. Two minutes on the clock. Two timeouts for Stevie J. Three for Prodigy. Exactly. We'll go to the stretch. And Bush will pick up three. Yeah, you see Reggie's always just fighting on those stretches, on those dives. Second and five. Great play call right there. Plenty of time here to work with. Your whole playbook's open. If you're Stevie, no need to rush to pass. You can run the ball as much as you want right here. Cole Pepper on second down. Oh, he might have had it, but the defense collapses. Leroy Glover, he was another one of those items, TD, that was released early in the Mutt cycle and has been on teams ever it. since. You see a few of them out there. Leroy Glover, Isaiah Simmons, a couple of those cards that came out early that are still effective. Now Stevie's starting to use a little more tempo. Clock's ticking against him. you got to think he's going to the air here. Might go to that same route combo. Look for those tight end posts or crossing routes to the sideline. Culpepper on third and seven. He's outside the pocket. Page. Oh, come looking on. for the late throw, but a good uh, hit. And this, this is ball game, TD. Because Stevie J had to use that timeout earlier in the half, he only has two remaining. This one is for the club championship. Yeah, this is your ball game right here for Stevie. Prodigy, great stick work on that play, able to rush in on the quarterback. So here we go, Stevie. You want to be the defending champion. You only have two timeouts, so this is their play. You're not known as a passer, but will you cook one up in the clutchest moment right now? Fourth and seven, defending champ on the ropes. Culpepper under center, Metcalf over to the left side. Culpepper back to pass. Culpepper Bang! looking. Culpepper in trouble. Culpepper go. goes down, and that well. could be it. Ah. Prodigy looks primed to take the Bills Good club man, title man. with a key late defensive stand. Come on, what a man. sequence of events. Those last three minutes of the game, That's Nick, just man. incredible. You thought Stevie was going to win because he got that stop needed. on fourth and inches rush. and then just a, a, a great defensive stand by Prodigy and then that bad punt was really one of the difference makers in the game. Prodigy in field goal range already and then he's able to come up with that clutch touchdown and then the defense at the end when it mattered the most. Just, I was super impressed by Prodigy both offensively and defensively. Oh. Not known as an offensive player. Just take a look at this replay here. Just everything bad. Great user stick work covering everything. I don't Yay! love the route combo by Stevie. Yeah, you talk about how important route design is, TD. All three routes crossing the same side because that the defense was just able to sit there and guard every single route as a nice play there from Prodigy. Doesn't care about stats. He'll use that final timeout with 40 seconds on the clock. Facing a third and 45. He'll get to take that final kneel down and crown himself the Bills Club champion. Yeah, just... Uh you know, I think Stevie might have about seven seconds, eight seconds here. Let's go. Uh, with the punt, if you're Prodigy, you might just want to kind of punt this out of bounds, maybe run the ball. But I think you you, you got to try to punt this. And Stevie might have one play, but ideally, if you can get a punt return, he's only going to have one play. Got to think Prodigy <sighs> probably going to take a delay a game here, make it a Fourth, fourth and 51. How many fourth and 51 plays do you have? You think you go for it here? <laughs> Would you be here if you didn't have a play for fourth and 46? <laughs> you didn't have a fourth I and 46 play of the playbook. What are you doing here? <laughs>
So here we go, eight seconds. So I think Stevie's still gonna have one play here with this punt, unless it's a punt in bounds and he can return it. But I, if I'm Prodigy, I'm kicking this out of bounds and I'm and I'm going for one defensive stand. No chance for a return. And that'll go out of bounds at the 26 yard line. Final play of the game. Does Stevie J have a miracle? Got to expect probably a run here, TD? Yeah, definitely a run. Try to get sticky. Let's see that stick work, Stevie. We go to a little counter play. Sanders has a little bit of room, go, but man. not enough room. And Prodigy is the new Bills Club champion, the oh. first defending champ to go down 17-13. Tyler Davis, this was a game of defensive big plays. Congratulations to Prodigy. I'm so impressed. Offense, defense, especially the offense. I think he only had one incompletion, and he's able to get a defensive stand when he needed the most impressive performance. You know, he said when we talked to him, he had a new focus on Ultimate Team. He wanted this more than anything. He wanted to be known more as a regs goon. And TD, he proved it today over one of the most difficult opponents I think you have in the club championship, considering how well Stevie J plays defense. Yeah, that's a big time win. Stevie, a savvy veteran. He's won a lot. So for Prodigy to make that transition, like you said, from regs, being one of the best regs players in the world, over to Mutt, inserting his dominance and saying, hey, I can play any mode and I'm here to stay. And plus, he gets to put another $5,000 in his pocket. On the flip side for Stevie J, a tough loss. You talked about it was a game of inches. This was the epitome of it. A couple plays go the other way, and Stevie J certainly comes out on top. Yeah, those last three minutes were pretty much what summarized the game. I mean, Stevie getting that cru crucial stop on that fourth and inches. We thought he was in control, and then Prodigy is able to force that bad punt, and he's able to take advantage, and then that one defensive stand. So, really, it was a great game. Came down to the last three minutes, and Prodigy did just enough to get the win. Well, speaking of Prodigy, let's bring in the new Buffalo Bills club champion. It is Prodigy. Prot, first of all, congratulations. I know you've been working hard at this. When we talked to you earlier this weekend, you said you had a new uh, a new commitment to Ultimate Team to try to get this club title. What does it mean to you to finally be a club champion and to get a chance to fight for that $150,000 first prize? It feels great. Um, yeah, like you guys said, I've always been a great rakes player. That's just like my way. I've always loved to play the game. But with the addition of Mutt coming into competitive, and being the biggest tournament of the year, I had to just turn all my focus into this mode to make sure that I'm the best I can be. And I've never won a club before, so this is the first time, and hopefully I can represent the Bills as well. Congratulations, Prodigy. Take me through those last three minutes, because I really feel like that was the difference in the game. You know, Stevie got that big stop on fourth down on you, and then you were able to kind of hold him. You almost had a safety, and then he did that kind of pretty bad punt, and you th had that big play over the top, and then you were able to stop him on defense. So just take us through that last three minutes and what you were feeling. Okay, so I was down three. I threw. I saw the curl route was one-on-one, -on -one, so I knew I was going to be able to throw it. I didn't know what kind of animation I was going to get. They put me on fourth and inches, and – Honestly, knowing that Stevie's just going to run the ball and, you know, play safe, I probably should have kicked three because I feel like I was playing pretty good defense on him. But I didn't want to get clocked out and um, him just win the game like that. So I was like, you know what, let me just try to go for it. He had really good fullback dive defense, blew it up. But he was backed up, and a lot of people have trouble, you know, getting the first down when they're that close to their own end zone. So I was able to force the punt. I don't know what happened on his punt right there, but – it put me right in field goal range, and I was just able to execute, get seven, and then finish the game off. Yeah, well, it was a game that pocketed you $5,000 and labeled you the Bills Club champion. Prodigy, we have a, a special video message, a special congratulation from the Buffalo Bills to you, their club champion. What's up, man? It's your boy D-Doc here. I want to give a huge shout-out to our 2021 Buffalo Bills Madden champion. You are elite and you did it. I want you to put your best foot forward and go lead the Bills Mafia the right way against the NFL. You already shh, snow. It's your boy D-Doc, man. Go ahead and do that. Kill it. We support you. We'll see you in the championship. It's your boy D-Doc. You already snow. 
And not only that, you're going to take home this custom Bills Championship jersey. Buffalo will send that one over. You can add that one next to what I think is the Dream Hack or Wimbledon plate behind you. That's pretty cool to put on yeah. the mantle. Uh, Prod, I mean, this has got to be pretty exciting. And now you've got, what, two months till January. Uh, how's it feel uh, being the Buffalo Bills club champion and seeing the, the video message? Oh, that, that message was great. I love how the NFL players are interacting us with, in that way and supporting um, what we're doing here in the club series. Um, yeah, we got a long break, so I got a little while to you know take rest, and but then we right back on it when it's getting time to come back around January when it's the final 32. Well, once again, congratulations, your Buffalo Bills Madden 21 club champion, Prodigy. We will see you in January at the club championships. Folks, we've got so much more Madden action to come. Three more hours.